This is the new CoverGirl Outlast Ultimate Long Lasting Lipstick. 24 hour comfortable wear. I'm gonna be doing an all day wear test. Oh, it's really pretty. So I might try it out with a primer. Hi guys, welcome to Emory Lane. <laughs> where my goal is to save you money and time by battling similar beauty products and methods to see which one's best for you. Oh, and remind you that you are enough. And this girl forgot to film an intro until right this second, so let's get on to the actual video. <laughs> New long lasting lipstick alert. <laughs> I said that right the first time. I did not have to redo that. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> CoverGirl has a new long-lasting lipstick. This is the new CoverGirl Outlast Ultimate Long-Lasting Lipstick. Not to be confused with the original Outlast like two-step system. I've tried that in the past. I'll link the video up right here and at the end. I'm gonna be doing an all-day wear test. I'm gonna be eating, drinking, all that stuff. So let's talk about it. It has like a cherry smell. It kind of smells like cherry chapstick, like the Carmax. Yeah, I just messed up that swatch. That's amazing. Anyway, I have it in the shade 130 Wine O'Clock. It is a single swipe lipstick that delivers intense matte color in one swipe. I get that. It is transfer resistant and it does, it's not supposed to bleed or feather. 24 hour comfortable wear. Glides on smoothly and leaves your lips moisturized. It has a unique applicator. What's unique about it? It just looks like a normal doe foot applicator to me. I mean, it's slightly has like an angle at the top, but I've seen that in a lot of applicators. <laughs> and it's vegan formula, cruelty free, all that stuff. It looks like it comes in 18 shades from what I can tell. I recommend buying it at Walmart or Target versus Ulta because at Ulta it is $10.99 and at Walmart and Target it is $7.99. So that's a pretty big price gap. So because it's me and I need to know if this is the best, I want to test it out against my favorite long-lasting matte liquid lipstick, which of course you know is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I think it's the most comfortable option out there and the longest lasting and the best all the way around. So I want to see what it's like compared to this and see if they can rank just just as well or better than this. And depending on how things go tomorrow, I might try it out with a primer if it, like things go really bad, just to give it a little bit of a redemption if it needs it, but we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna do CoverGirl on the right, L'Oreal on the left. Oh, it's really pretty. It definitely applies really nicely. It's super opaque. I do like the applicator, but it's nothing like super duper special. I just got some, oh, no, it didn't get on my teeth. I touched my tooth and it didn't get on my tooth. Wow, that's a first. So this is what it looks like on this side. It's a gorgeous shade. I didn't have to go over it over and over again. It is really opaque. It was not hard to apply. It doesn't feel sticky at all. And it doesn't feel super tight either. I'm like really impressed so far. It doesn't feel quite as lightweight as like the Rouge liquid lipsticks from L'Oreal. Like I can still feel it, but it's definitely not uncomfortable at all. And it feels more comfortable than like, um, like just in, like a normal lipstick where you can like feel it. I'm impressed so far. I'm gonna put the L'Oreal on the other side real quick. Yes, they're different shades of red. I can't help it. This is the best I can do. I think I say this every time. I'm the worst at putting lipstick on just one half of my mouth. It makes it so much harder. I did not do the absolute best job applying that, but I don't, I don't care at this point. I don't want to be too fussy with it, especially because I know how the L'Oreal one normally is by itself, so it's fine. The L'Oreal one is normally a little sticky, which doesn't bother me. You know, it does bother some people, so there's a little bit of a difference right there. But man, I'm actually really liking the cover girl so far. I know I just put it on and there's not that much to like compare it to, but like I like it so far. Okay, so I'm gonna go about my day. I will do a couple check-ins. I'll make sure to do a check-in outside like always so you can see in natural lighting. I'll be eating food. I haven't eaten today. It's just after one o'clock and so I need to eat. <laughs> and we'll see how this goes. I'm super excited so far though. Okay, it's been about an hour since I put the lipstick on. I ate some cereal. Cereal's amazing. We look in the same. Like it looks exactly the same. No smudging, no, there was no transfer under the spoon or like the milk didn't get like a weird color from the lipstick. That just happened before, it's kind of gross. It feels super comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's drying anything out yet. I don't have anything on my hands, which normally that's like the first place I really see it if I'm gonna get it somewhere. But like everything looks good. And the more I look at how bad a job I did on the L'Oreal side, the more I'm mad at myself. I didn't fix it, but I can't at this point. It's just light, so it's fine. It is. It's like 7.45 right now. So it's a few hours since I've done a check-in. My hair is insane. What even happened? I don't know. Okay, anyway, I'm about to eat dinner, so I thought I'd do another chicken. You can see both sides look almost the same until I open up my mouth, which is kind of gross now. You can see the CoverGirl side has really started to go down where the L'Oreal side hasn't nearly as much down towards the middle of my lip. 
which is kind of a bummer. I'll do one more check-in today, but it looks like most likely I'm gonna have to try it with a primer tomorrow to see if it'll make a difference. It's still really comfortable. I haven't really thought about it. Like, it hasn't really dried out my lips at all or like made them feel tight or anything like that. It's just starting to fade a little bit. Oh, and I might try at the end of today reapplying it and see if it like fills up or anything like that, you know what I mean? So we'll see. Hi. Okay, this is my last chicken of the day, and as you can see, we are kind of look like we're missing a lot more lip on this side. So I'm not saying L'Oreal one didn't fade, it did a little bit, which I know it does. And it lasts the longest out of all the ones I've tried, which is why it's my favorite. I want to see if I can reapply this and see if it like pills or anything like that. I got all over my teeth this time, how did I do that? So it applies really well, there's no pilling or anything. It feels the same, it doesn't layer on weird. I still want to try it with a primer just to see what happens if it makes a huge difference. Sometimes primers can make the biggest difference ever and it's like insane. So we will try that again tomorrow. Okay, we're back for round two. <laughs> and I'm gonna be using a lip primer. I'm not gonna be dividing my face in half for this one just so we can get like the full idea of what's happening. You already kind of saw the difference between the two. I can just show the clips from yesterday and we should be good. I'm gonna be using the NYX, I think it's just the, called the NYX lip primer. I don't think it has a special name. In my personal opinion, it's the best drugstore lip primer on the market. My favorite favorite, the Maybelline one, was discontinued because they need like to annoy me, but this one's almost as good. Have I mentioned it's so much easier to put on lipstick when you're doing it all over your lips instead of just one half? I'm really making sure to get in on the corners to make sure they're fully like covered so like it's all up to the lipstick. <laughs> it feels so smooth and so soft and lightweight and it just feels good. I hope this works. It is currently 12.20. I'm gonna do the same thing I did yesterday, go about my day, eat food, <laughs> cause I'm starving, film, do all that stuff, and I'll do some check-ins, and we'll see how this goes. Crossing my fingers that this goes good. Okay, it's been like three and a half hours-ish since I applied the lipstick, and I've eaten twice. It's not, you can't really tell that it's faded that much until I smile, and then you can really tell that it's going down. Mm, I don't know guys, I think the primer might have made it worse, but I want to look at the different timestamps compared to when I tried it last time, see if it looked the same or worse or better by this point in time. I know I only did one check-in, but here's clips side by side of day one and day two at about the same time. And as you can see, day two is really struggling compared to day one. I did take a little clip at about 4.20. I took a little clip of my water bottle that I was drinking out of and I noticed that the lipstick was pilling. There were like little chunks coming off onto my water bottle. It wasn't like normal transfer where like it was coming off because I was not like touching it. It was like I could rub out it and the little balls would come off, which is not fun. So it looks like the primer made it worse somehow. I don't get it. If you want a lightweight, basically transfer proof lipstick that will last you through a meal or two, I think this is great. It hasn't dried my lips out at all. A primer will not help it. At least the NYX primer, which again, I think is the best, did not help it at all. But it reapplies really well as long as you use it on its own. <laughs> it's good. This one's still my favorite. But if I need something that's more lightweight and I'm not worried about it lasting all day, I'll definitely be using this again. If you want to see my battle of the lip primers, you can click right here. I love you guys so much. Don't forget that you are enough. Bye.